develops in early childhood, and while no one is perfect, our imperfections can sharpen our self-esteem and kindness. Lifestyle expert Jojo Pastors and Meg McGuire, author of Perfectly Maggie, are joining us today on Good Day PA to teach us how to tell, teach children how to love their flaws. So that's what Perfectly Maggie is all about, really, right? Turning your quirks into perks. I love that message. Yeah. So Meg, tell us, how did this book get its start? Well, I wrote it for my grandchildren, actually, but it's a routine I did with my own children when they were quite young. I worked with a pediatrician from University of Pennsylvania, knowing that self-esteem is the very core of who we become when we get older. And uh, the routine scripted into this is a sharing, it's an exchange at the end of every day between parent and child. And that's something that's really important, is that bonding at the end of the night. It certainly is, and I love the story. Um, Meg and Kim's own daughter, Kathleen, that's when Meg actually, that's when Perfectly Maggie really had its roots. Mm -hmm. um, when Kathleen, Meg's daughter, was a child, they spent every night talking about what happened to them positively during the day. Um, both mom and daughter talked about what happened to them positively and how they could keep doing that um, day after day. And now it's, it works because Kathleen is a successful mom, a successful professional. Um, she has a wonderful life, wonderful family and profession, so it just goes to show you it really it really does work. It does. And there are two messages here. There's one about kindness and then one about embracing our flaws. So Absolutely. talk to me about those. I, I like to think that we're trying to empower children with kindness. They get such a good feeling about themselves when they're kind. It, it is a wonderful way to end the day, sharing what they did that was kind during the day and having their parents share also what they did that was kind during the day in their big person world. It's not always easy to have confidence in life, a, mm -hmm. a child, adult, but I think it's easiest to learn and to be empowered and to learn that confidence at a young age. And anything we do in life, it's easier to do, you know, go through those obstacles and those battles early when you're a child as opposed to later. So I think by starting it at a young age like, like Meg and Kim and the award-winning illustrator Josie Yee, the illustrations, guys, can you get a, a close-up on these illustrations or how beautiful these books are? Um, little Maggie plush toy and you know the books and the packets itself it's a beautiful beautiful pack and a gift definitely something with the holiday season mm. approaching we were just talking about that mm. something perfect. that would be a great gift perfect yes. perfect go to amazon.com to pick up some perfectly maggie go to perfectlymaggie.com mm -hmm. uh, and go to my social media too jojo pastors um, and get this uh, get this for your kids and grandkids Definitely. The season, yeah. So is it something, Meg, that your grandchildren enjoy now? They love it. They love it. Of and course. They, yeah, at the end of the book, there's a puppy pack that you sign, and it's a commitment between parent and child mm -hmm. or grandparents to do that sharing game every evening. So they look forward to that. And, you know, they like to hear what I did that was nice during the day, too. That's a really, yes. really great sentiment. And there's more down the road from Meg and Kim and Josie because mm -hmm. they really believe in entertain, engage, and enrich. Okay. So they're building a whole, uh, so start with them mm -hmm. now and, and stay with them because they're really, yeah. they're onto something great. And yeah. definitely check out their website. We'll have that on our website, gooddayPA.com. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with us and for sharing this book. Thanks for having me. Thank us. you. Of course. Coming up next on Good Day PA, you might believe in ghosts after taking this creepy historical walking tour in Lancaster County. We have all the spooky details when we come back.